Hey, what's going on? This is Struggle the Preacher, and today I have a new wonderful guest, an amazing person once you get to know him. Peace. True. True speaks power. Today's Clash Wednesday. I know that many of you like Clash Wednesday, so what we do on Clash Wednesday? Okay. I take one song performed by two different artists. Okay. And we compare those songs. I mean, you're going to tell me which performance you like better. All right, all right. And we kind of do the same thing. We discuss it, and then you just tell me which one you like best, you know. So, all right, let's do it. So that's Clash Wednesday. Bang, bang. So my name is True, but, um, you know, on Instagram, I go by True Speaks Power. Yeah. You know, um, and the reason why I, I uh, go by that, you know, is because... My mission and purpose in life is to show people that you are not powerless. Whatever you're going through in life, whatever is happening, you know, my mission and purpose, my service to you is to give you insight through my skills, through words, through my stories, to make you feel powerful. And not in a dominating way, but in a way where you feel charged ready to go, inspired. So that's where true speaks power come from. And when I say speaks, it's not just words, it could be my writing, it could be my presence and whatnot, you know, my interactions. Make sure you check him out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description yeah. below. So, and I happened to attend one of his events when he spoke uh, to the youth and it was very, I, 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 like I said, I already said in one of my previous episodes that I hate, these days I hate this word motivating because hmm. it's overrated. Where everybody's a motivational speaker, but they, <laughs> do, but they do not live what they talk about. Hmm. This guy right here, he actually, uh, he's been through what he talks about. Indeed. I mean, it's not like a bunch of words. It's not that he just has read so many right. <laughs> smart books and all right. that. Right, and just regurgitating it. And just, and just it. retell the, those yeah. books, you know, no. say how many people do. But his story, his life story is very, I mean, I don't want to, I, I really don't want to use that word motivational, but if you will, let it be motivational. I yeah. want to say, I don't want to even say inspiring. It's like not even uplifting, but something that you can relate to. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes you'd be like, you need those role models and role models not always celebrities that you see on, on the TV or on YouTube with millions of views role models are real people who actually live next door to you but Indeed. you don't know their stories Indeed. and true just I mean I met him just like I did the way I met him it was not planned mm -hmm. just like this 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 episode is not planned <laughs> we right. actually went for a video shoot Right. We were supposed to have another uh, event, but uh, then we was like, after that, we were like, yo, you know, let, let, let's, let's, I, I, like I told him, like, I do this kind of podcast. I was like, okay, let's uh, record an episode. He was like, okay, yeah. I'm down. So it was not planned, and he don't know what we do right here. So, yeah. Um, and then let me tell you, I'm going to tell you a little bit more. I don't know if you, if you knew how we met. So make a long story short, I had an event coming up in Harlem. And I needed a videographer. And then it just so happens that my man, Mr. Beneficial, shout out, Mr. Beneficial. Shout out. Peace, peace. <laughs> he invited me to go work out. And I went to go work out. And there was a videographer there. And that's how we met. So I would say that the universe, you know, um, drew us together. You know, and, and back to the motivation piece, I like that. Because I use the term motivational speaker only because that's what people know. Yeah. But I don't consider myself a motivational speaker. If anything, I'm a personal development speaker. You know, um, but be, and especially because motivation is temporary. You know, you get motivated to do something, yeah. right? It's just temporary. Yeah, you know, I, I would like to say that, you know, what I share with my audience, with my people, with the people that I encounter on an everyday basis, because if I'm your friend, I, who I am on the stage or wherever is really who I am, seriously, for real, like he said. So is insights, it's, you know, wisdom, it's experience, it's just bonding, you know, I, I'm a seeker. So I would like to say that I learn from others as well and just just sharing, you know. Словно и не бывает
Melissa Super, Supernova. I know what a supernova is. Supernova. Huh, Alyssa Supranova. Sup- Supranova. Yeah. Ah, like a, a supernova. Big shout out to her. A star. She's that kind of upcoming. I mean, she has the nice. big following on YouTube. A lot of yeah. people watch her videos. Yo, but Supernova, she, you did your thing. Yeah, just like I want to give her a shout out, definitely. No and, doubt, no doubt. And she's very talented. Word. And, uh, I, and Supernova, I like this too. Let me say this. I like the fact I was watching your videos and you wasn't half naked. You wasn't showing your titties out or none of that. You were dressed classy and modestly. You're you're using your talent and your yeah, gift, absolutely. not selling your body. Absolutely. So salute to you for that too. Yeah. Peace. I'm gonna clap on <laughs> So definitely this now the thing is it may not be a fair match because the the sound quality of the second one was so much better and I think because of that I felt it more like I li- I became more that awake is, that ma- yeah, 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 yeah you sense. know what I mean um, the first one I I liked it I, I think that the second one had a better voice you know I, I, I hope that the technology didn't affect that also but I'm um, just based on what I hear and being honest, I like the second one better. I'll go with the second one too. Yeah, okay, okay. And the second one actually, she dropped it like a week ago. Oh, so, okay. And the, the original, or the first one, what, what, what year do you think it was? From? So again, I cheated because I saw the video. Yeah. So I saw the hairstyles, yeah. the makeup. I'm going to say sometime in the 80s. 70s, 80s, yeah. Thing, probably 80s, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just but judging by that. Yeah. Um, if I didn't see the video, I would know definitely that it was older, but I probably wouldn't have, I don't know if I would pinpoint the 80s for sure. Yeah, you but know, it was like kind of disco music, right? Right, right, that's what it sounded like. And then the big hair and stuff yeah. like that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, okay, so going now, going to the, to the actual, the, lyrical content yeah yeah so what are your thoughts so for me it sounded like a song that was about triumph overcoming okay. something winning um yeah that's 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 what that's what that's what's there for me okay it's called the the, the summer is gone the summer is gone. Okay, <laughs> okay. So it's about it's about a season. <laughs> this kind of music is just like you want to dance to it. Yeah, that's you don't for really sure. Want to pay attention to the lyrics. So yeah. she opens. Okay, this now the summer is gone. Okay, so that's what you get from it. Okay, right. but then she's saying something like, "Okay, that's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. What is not enough? I'm trying to think right now." Come on, man. Yeah, it yeah. happens to me sometimes, and they be like, you know, people be like, "Oh man, you don't even know what you do." <laughs> No. Yeah, to me, it sounds like something about overcoming something. So maybe it's about overcoming her. I look up the lyrics. Her, um, her, um, what's the word? The fact that she feels sad that the summer's gone. I don't know, but she sounds like she's overcoming something. But that's interesting. That's what it's all about because when you don't know the lyrics, when you do not understand the lyrics, it's just like what you can get from the performance. Right. Like, okay, the music and the performance right what kind of thoughts or emotions or vibes it gives, it gives absolutely you. that's absolutely. what that's what is the most important to me it's like what sometimes people be saying something i was like oh i didn't even think about it but it makes a great sense indeed you know you never even think because you understand and when you do not understand like i listen to some like i said french music mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i do not understand Sometimes I don't even want to understand because I can already feel or, or that song, that particular song, give me certain emotions. And right. sometimes when I translate, it's something different. It's like, man, that's not what I thought it was about. Right, right. And it's probably I'm not going to relate to what she's singing right now. You know, right, right, future. right. Well, you know Nate Dogg, right? Nate Dogg, yeah. And you know his... Uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace to one of the greatest. Indeed. And uh, his singing is so beautiful. Right. But his lyrical content sometimes, you know, my wife, my bitch. Your wife, my bitch, your love, my trick. 
<laughs> right, right. But also, sometimes if you do not understand the English language, probably it's whatever. But when you wow. understand the English language, you do like, come on, man. Yo, that's a great example because if you didn't understand English, you would think it's a beautiful song talking about love. Yeah. Literally, no, he's he's talking about bitches and hoes, and I could curse on here, right? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. It's actually very derogatory towards women, but you wouldn't know that unless you know the English language. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, again, it's like the energy, right? Yeah. So, like, for example, if I do this, yeah, I don't have to speak or nothing. You could be from the bottom of a country somewhere in the bushes. <laughs> if I do this, you relate to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, so again, energy is one of those things where, you know, um, you relate to energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So, okay, absolutely. So, what's the lyrics talking about? I'm just going through the lyrics. Actually, you know, I want to ask you guys to give me your thoughts. I mean, I'm not going to even try. I'm not, I don't even want to try. Hmm. Because, you know, I got to really go and think about what, it, what it's about. Um... Tell me, tell me, tell me what it is about. I don't want to guess. I don't want to say nothing right now, you know. Just, uh, I want to hear your thoughts. I bet you I'm right, man. Let me know if I'm right. The song is about triumph, Probably. overcoming. Yeah, I think, yes. I think you are. Now I'm going through it. I, I, I mean, I can translate it. But, yes, I think. That the summer's gone, but she's gonna she, be she, okay. Yeah, yes, that's what everything's she, gonna be yes, all right. Because, because she's saying here is this line for for instance, neither evil nor good was in vain. Mm, mm. Everything, everything was burning bright and all, but it, it that was not enough. You know, mm. and then she probably wanted for more. You know, that everything was good, like you said, triumph. Right, right, right. Yeah, I want more. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She definitely. said everything that could come true came true just right in, on, on the palm of her hands, but it's not enough. Yeah, and you know, the, the neither good or evil came in vain. I can actually really relate to that because me being from the streets and all the struggles that I've been through, his name is Struggle, all the struggle that I've been through, you know, like, for example, my dad wasn't in my life consistently, right? But now, like, a lot of people acknowledge me and I appreciate all that do for being such a great father. But this is the thing. What makes what makes me the man, the type of father that I am today, unfortunately, is the pain that I went through not having a father consistently in me in life, consistently in my life, excuse me. So, you know, that pain that I experienced, I didn't want my children go, to go through the same pain. So that makes me go harder for them. So that's a pain for, you can maybe say, evil experience that's not in vain because I ended up winning because I got something po positive out of it either way. You know what I mean? So, of course, I would rather have had my father in my life consistently, but it's not in vain because I still ended up winning, triumph. I need to have you more often in my episodes. Bro, let's do it. Because it's not about, that's what I say, this, uh, we have these conversations, people like this conversation, how we discuss things. Yeah, no doubt. And we can bring up something, you know, uh, of importance. Yeah. And no doubt, fam. This guy right here, I mean, he can share so many stories. I mean, and you can understand this life over here more in depth. Not how you see it in the movies, not how you see it in the video games. Yeah. Not how you see this like nah, sometimes you think, uh, sometimes sometimes you might think that things are over exaggerated or something and all. But here, when you speak to people like himself, mm -hmm. or when you see what's going on in the streets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you see every all that life with your own eyes i mean just like it's even people in america who don't see that stuff mm -hmm. yeah. when you don't go in the hood you don't see that stuff you don't yeah. deal with that yeah definitely definitely and it gives you much better understanding when you see that or at least you can hear you get the information firsthand yeah I mean, it's just not somebody re tell you something right and yeah, and, and, and you know, um, also, like, what I think is a major thing is, and thank you for that acknowledgement, by the way, 
One of the major principles of Buddhism, and I'm not a Buddhist, but I love the Buddhist philosophy, all the sects, all the different ones that they have. And But one of the main points is compassion. And I feel like that so when you... One of the main points in, in, in Christianity, too, because I'm a Christian. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. word. See? Okay, thank you for, for also sharing that. So compassion, right, when you hear someone's story and you actually, like, put yourself in their shoes and, and instead of being so judgmental or knocking or, you know, maybe just listening to whatever the media says, right, you know, you can have more compassion and maybe not be so judgmental. Because maybe if you see me speaking on stage or if you read my book, you know, um, you won't assume that I sold crack, that I've been locked up, that I used to, you know, have guns on me all the time. You wouldn't know that until I tell you that. So that's where the compassion and the, and the judgment, because you don't know who's in front of you. You don't know what they've been through. And if they are going through that, you don't know who they'll be. And that's important. So instead of always being judgmental, you know, share some encouraging words instead, because that could put the person on a better path. Thank you for bringing this up because I kind of, you know, there are some people whom I kind of fed up with, you know, reading their comments. They, they like to speak for somebody else. Mm-hmm. They like to speak for somebody else. And that's what I always try to tell them, that you should not speak for anybody by yourself. Mm. Sometimes we cannot even speak for ourselves. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know what I'm Authentically you. I, 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 I have this shirt that I sell. It's my shirt. I came up with the quote. But at the bottom, if you can see, it says, be you. Be your authentic self. Not like yes. a jerk. If you're a jerk, don't be a jerk. Yeah. But what I'm saying is... Don't, don't be proud of being you when you <laughs> are a jerk. Try right. to change yourself and be you. Like, you know, because sometimes people, oftentimes people actually take it as an excuse. They'd be like, that's the way I am. Right. You know, and they don't want to change. But if you are a jerk, what you are proud of? You're yeah. proud of being a jerk? Right. And, and I, I will challenge that because the universe is based on love. So you didn't come here, you know, as a jerk. You came here with love. You came here to be loving. Look at babies. Look how babies are, right? The society yeah, made you. Exactly. Not really made you. I mean, I don't want to say if we, if this way we're going to blame it on the society. We're going to yeah, blame it. We're yeah. going to take it. Uh, you know, we gotta, we got to acknowledge that uh, we that's became right. uh, like this. My, the, my you, book. You should my not book, blame nobody. Indeed. My book that's coming out is called The Power of Choice because I realized all the stuff that I went through, all the stuff that I did, I could, I, I could definitely tell you it was the environment and it was the school system that's horrible all of those things which is true um but at the end of the day i made a choice yeah. i made a choice to you know cut school i made a choice to Absolutely. you know do those things at the end of the day my mother raised me right my mother taught me the right things i chose to do the wrong things yes there was more of the wrong things around yes it was like a traps all over the place but at the end of the day it was my choice Thank you and stay no tuned for our next episode. I'm trying to be back on uh, schedule. That's going to be season two. No doubt. And I truly would love to see my brother through. through I want to truly run. I wanna, <laughs> Let's do it. I want to see you more often in my episodes because Bruh. he got he got some gems to share. Bro, yeah, so, let's do it. Let's um, yeah. let's set it up. All right, bro. I'm honored. Peace. <laughs>